straight up. to my channel my name is mia and you're watching mama mia if you're new here if you're not new here thanks for coming back girl i love you so so much it's been forever since i did a hair tutorial i know y'all i be lazy so i just been paying people <laughs> but like today your girl did a little razzle dazzle so as always i had no idea what i was doing i've never did a hairstyle like this before um so if you guys like it, just stay tuned. If it's not really your vibe, go ahead and just watch the video and like walk away so I like I can get the view. <laughs> All right, but um, let's just jump right into the video. If you guys are interested in this style, just continue watching, like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. All right, first put some oil on your rubber bands and rub it in really good. I'm not 100% sure what's the logic behind this method but all i know is i've been using it forever and i never have breakage whenever i use rubber bands with my hair i am going to be showing the whole parting process in this video because what i realized is a lot of my viewers be new um and i stopped doing parting for a while because i do the same parting every single video but i want to show you guys like beginning to end the whole process first you're just gonna part the front like a section in the front i did not zoom in on my hair so you guys can kind of see like my mirror placement and like what helps me but after you're done with the front part you're gonna go to the back part y'all i struggle parting so much but work with me here <laughs> apply some edge control trust me your parts would look so much neater um of course i don't have like the neatest parts ever because your girl cannot Part, but it really does help and with this being bantu knots like your parts show so try to get your parts as neat as possible because everyone's going to see them Once you're done parting, apply the edge control. I am also listing all the products in the hair that I'm using in my description box. So if you don't hear me say it, just go ahead and head to my description box and look there. But yeah, add edge control to your part. Usually with parts as big as these, you will like divide the hair and apply edge control. Personally, I don't like too much edge control on my hair. It tends to dry out. And y'all know I do not play about my hair. Anything that dries it out, pulls it out, or just damages my hair in general. I don't play about that. I am using two rubber bands. The parts are huge. So I just felt like that would kind of help secure like the section of hair. Oh, and by the way, I did add chapters to this video. So if you wanted to skip any part of this video, just head to the chapters and it should help you get directed within the video. I've never used chapters before, so please leave a comment and let me know if that helped you out at all.
in the toothbrushes bag of course i am doing baby hair i love my baby hair and right now i'm just kind of getting it out the way so i can continue with the hairstyle y'all parting kicked my butt in this video like i knew how straight the parts had to be so i just did not want to like lazy up especially with the front but you can see how over it i am it's like all over my face like i was so frustrated the arms was tired my son was in my ear talking about i don't even know probably paw patrol and y'all i was just over the whole thing okay And it's just the same thing, add edge control, um, try to get it as slick as possible. Um, I was using a comb to kind of brush the edge control through since I didn't divide the hair and add edge control in between my sections. And I just got it as slick as possible with what I had. Push P. Yeah, push P. Turn me up. Turn me up, P. Uh, the point is in the paddock, gave my peace. Oh, push a P. Uh, cop no hammers for my peace. We don't want no peace. Got a spot of cuff rap. Check for peace. Drop the data, now we fly. Inside the peace. She not a lesbian for peace. She turned lesbian. Push P. Push a P. On capital P, I write these president, count presidents. Push P. Portuguese on her knees, my banana P. She let me squeeze, then she leave, cause she keep the P. Private speak, privacy, jump push a P. Purple paint, pink. Push a P. 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 Pop a P, I'm paranoid. I can't sleep, my pockets deep. Got rest on me, why they watching me? I'm pushing P, pushing P, pushing P, pushing P. Got it done, got it P, and I'm pushing P. Okay, bought a P, not a pill of Porsche. Pushing P, three P's, popcorn Porsche.
even though this is a quick and easy hairstyle like i did struggle with the top part of the hair because my hair is so thick but i just kind of like worked my way through it i did what i had to do like if i have to add a little bit more edge control just to get it to look slick then that's just what i had to do but you could kind of see me like trying to use as less as possible like i'm literally picking up like little pieces of edge control <laughs> So, you know those packs of braiding hair that comes with the three pack? I only used one part of that three pack. It was basically leftover hair. So, when I'm picking up pieces of hair, it's really thin pieces of hair. I'm only adding hair to this hairstyle for like the fullness of the knots. In the end part, it really helps with like securing the knot, which I'm going to show you a little later. Even though it's braided, I did twist it when I threw it around. And so this is what I was talking about with the end part helping secure it. Like I just kind of like tucked it under but like you could feel like how it like got tighter. Then I just doubled up with the rubber band. It was very lightly used though. There is no type of method to this braiding that I'm doing. I know it looked crazy, but trust me, y'all. Like, I feel like that's what made my knots look so good because it was so unproportioned. And then I twisted it and, like, the braid with the twist, it, like, really made my knots look super cute. <laughs> is hooking the hair to my natural hair and braiding like there's no rocket science behind this um 
I'm telling you, like, this hairstyle was so easy and quick. Like, once I got through the parting part, it went by pretty fast. And so this is another... So this is me showing you again, like, the end part, like, how it really helped, like, secure everything. You're going to make sure you twist the braid as you're rolling it around. And then take the end and tuck it and, like, tighten it. And you'll feel it like in your head, like how it just got tighter, like it's tight. And then add a rubber band for extra security. I don't know the name of this hair because I literally just found it like all this hair is leftover hair but I'm going to find out and put it in the description box but I'm getting like as less hair as possible I really wanted this look to look very natural looking I didn't want really thick curls I just wanted to look like a little hair was left out of the knot so you can see me like pinching the hair like I'm trying to get as less as I can and I didn't knot the hair in. I knew this hairstyle wasn't going to be in long. Like, I didn't have to do all of that. I just kind of rolled it over. But you can knot it. Like, that's an option for you. But I didn't. Also, the hairstyle lasted about a week because of how big the parts is. So the longer you want the knots in, I would recommend smaller parts. I did not add the curly hair to each knot. I just kind of picked and choose. I think I added it to three up top. And then I put some in the back just for like razzle dazzle like i just wanted to add a little extra flair one in the middle I wanted a swiggly in my face so that's what I'm doing I'm making sure like one actually falls in my face all right y'all so this is the finished look what do you think let me do a little spin how y'all feel <laughs> I love it Personally, I absolutely love it. Like, it looks exactly like what I pictured in my mind. And that is my favorite. Like, that's my favorite. Like, that's all I could ever really hope for is just for it to be what I thought it would be. And if anything, I think it looks better. Like, like I added some, like, little fake piercings. Like, it's giving, like, a whole little vibe. Like, very, like goddessy like earth goddess and i just love it so much i hope this video helped you guys if you guys were thinking if you guys were thinking of the style or if y'all just came across my video like it was like oh that's an interesting style that's different i hope you guys like it so please like comment and subscribe i love you guys so so much and i'll see you guys later bye